been about 10 months. I got this package back from CBCS. I don't know what's going on with some of this tape. Um, but I'm going to get to this intro. After the intro, you're going to see how I graded these about 10 months ago. I'm sorry, the video might not be as good as the video is probably now. So uh, bear with me on that. But then we'll get in to opening these. Get ready for a Monday mail call. What is going on YouTube? So, um, as a lot of you know, I do Comic Tom. I ended up winning a golden ticket. And uh, yeah, so the idea is that you get one free grading um, from CBCS if you send in five uh, books. So, I'm just going to show you guys what I have. Uh, I'm going to guess on what I think they would be. And then uh, when we get it uh, for the first time, uh, we'll see what it is. I'm not really a grader, I don't really have any idea. Um, so I'm going to just kind of take loose guesses. So the first book I'm picking is, uh, this is a, the uh, Oblivion song. I pretty much, I picked it out because of the show coming out. Um, but here it is. It is the Pink Signature variant, uh, which was kind of a harder thing to find originally. Um, just kind of looking at it, it's kind of hard because it's in a weird bag. Um, but I'm looking at it, I think this is a pretty good copy. I'm going to guess, I would hope to get a 9.6 out of this, at least. Um, so, next book is, uh, this is definitely has a lot of spec, just because of what's coming out on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Secret Invasion, number one. Um, just looking at this one, too. This one is a little bit worse than that. I don't really know too much about grading. It's got a kind of a ding up there and a few dings on the bottom. Does have some color break. I hope this comes back. It's at least a nine. Um, this is another book that's got some spec with the, the next three all are kind of loosely tied together. Um, but this is uh, Invincible Iron Man number one. This is the action hero uh, variant. Um, this one looks really good. Um, once again, I would say I would hope that it, le you know, like it should probably get a 9.8, but I'm going to guess like worst case 9.6. Um, keeping on the Riri train, this is our first appearance. Um, this one does have some corner dings and a little bit of a scuff. I, I hope it comes back at least like a 9.2. Should probably be better, but. You know, this is my first time submitting to grading, so it's really hard to tell. Um, and uh, the final one is uh, Riri's first time in armor. This is the number nine. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. There's these weird lightning bolts. This one looks a lot better than that one. I would guess it's at least going to be coming back as a 9.6, hopefully. Um, once again, I, I definitely don't know too much about grading, so who knows? I could be way off. I could be, like, you know, wait, maybe underselling these books, maybe overselling these books. It's kind of hard to tell for me. Um, but this is the first time I'm doing it. I got the golden ticket, so I'm going to. I might actually get a membership now just because I do have a decent amount of books that I would like to see graded. Um, but with, you know, this, I figured I'd give it a try. I'd see what happens. And, and yeah, once again, these are the books that I'm going to submit. I don't know too much. Um, hopefully you like them. I think, you know, a lot of it is current spec um, on either, you know, being able to flip these or preserve these for my collection. So um, these are what I'm submitting. And, uh, you know, we'll fast forward when we get them and we'll see what they turn out to be. So, um, all things considered, I know what these came back as because the only thing that I'll probably complain about this process is that, um, the way that CBCS has it is when you go in and you look, I want to just make sure that it was shipped, uh, right under where it shows that it shipped, showed the grades. And when I looked at it on a web browser, you could see what the grades are. So if you are, um, you know, for the first time doing this, one of the things I would recommend is looking on your phone instead of a web browser, because your phone at least won't show you the grades. Um, and we'll just show you whether or not they're like certified or not certified. So this is a big old package. I'm going to set it here. You already know what books are in here, but let's see how they came back.
All right. That took a lot longer um, than expected. So, uh, yeah, I... Um, yeah, like I said, I already know what these grades are, but to be fun, I'm going to show them off to you. I'm going to cover up the grades. So the first one we have here, this is the, Invinc the Invincible Iron Man number seven. And let's see. Sorry, I'm just going to switch this around. What does this say? This is the first, appeario, uh, uh, first appearance of Riri Williams in a cameo. There is a War Machine appearance and a Spider-Man appearance. So the one thing that I had mentioned is that this one did not look very good and that the other one definitely looked better. Well, fun fact, this bad boy got a 9.6. I looked at the grader's notes and uh, the one thing it said about this is that it's just missing the digital code cover. So that sticker, I didn't actually page through this. Um, so technically, I think this would be a 9.8. Um, it just doesn't have the sticker over the digital. I bought this book used um, for $3. So overall, I think that was a pretty good investment. I'm guessing. Okay, nope. So this is next up. We have the Invincible Iron Man action cover variant i forgot what i said on this one um i think i said i thought this was pretty good and this should be a 9.8 so this is the first riri solo and as you can see it's that action cover we got a 9.8 the first 9.8 we got um yeah so this says riri dons the model 2 armor on cover only which is well i guess yeah she still has it but the action cover variant So we've got that other Invincible Iron Man, number nine. This one I said looked way better than that number, right? But fun fact, it's not. It got a 9.4. I forgot what it said. I think it said that it had a... Um, it said something about a back cover, I thought. I don't know. I'll probably show the notes. But now looking at this... Yeah, this is one where it got kind of hard because there are there and there's it, it pretty much there's a ding at the top and the bottom maybe down here in this corner this one um is the first appearance of riri williams and later becomes ironheart um but it is also this one um two is missing the stamp so i guess when i said it was a 9.8 i think i technically am right so this is that pink signature um Oblivion song, I can just tell by the back. Um, I think I said that I thought this was pretty good. It should be a 9.6, but I would be happy if it came back a 9.8. And hey, we got a 9.8 on this bad boy. And yeah, as you can see, it's the pink signature. Um, back cover pinup. Oh, and it does note too that it is the Del Fucci pink variant. And the final book that we have, this was a Marvel's Secret Invasion. I think on this one I said um, that I thought it would be a 9.8. Oh, there is. Glad I looked because uh, the receipts in here. Let's see. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, I think I said I wish this would be a 9. I'd be happy with a 9. Got a 9 too. So, I was actually fairly close. Um, and this is Hank Pym, Dum Dum, Dugan, and Jarvis revealed to be scrolls. Sorry about that. And New Avengers, number one, a cover swipe. So, yeah. Um, this one is definitely the worst that came back, but hey, technically, I think it got better than I thought it would. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I mean, these slabs are, I like these slabs a lot better than the CGC slab. Um, I get it that the number does not look nearly as cool, but overall, the slab itself as a whole is pretty good. Um, so those are what I got. Let me know how you think I did for Monday. This has been a pretty crazy mail Monday, and this is my first CBCS unboxing. There should be more in the future. 
um, you know, <laughs> when they get around. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, last week I did a giveaway, so I'll be doing the announcement for that. And uh, you can figure out what you could win uh, by sticking around to that giveaway too uh, for next week. So uh, once again, yeah, let's get to the giveaway. And we're to the part that everyone is probably looking forward to the most, and that is the giveaway. So for those of you who are in the video, um, watched last week's video, one of the questions that I had was, what is your favorite summer horror movie? And for some people I said, you know, some people don't like horror. So if you don't, just pick me a movie in the summertime. So we're going to shuffle this thing six times. Uh, we're, I don't know, that might have not been six. Who knows? But <laughs> I kind of forgot what I was doing. Um, and we'll give this a ring. Um, yeah, I said some people don't like horror, so put in a, a summer movie. This is for Fantastic Four, uh, and it looks like it's going to uh, David over at Cali and Jordan Squads. He mentioned Fields of Dreams, so congratulations, David. I will get that book shipped out to you. I have some cards, so I'll probably throw those cards in that I was planning on sending you to. Um, so congratulations. And yeah, I had mentioned that I have not seen Fields of Dreams, and he said that it was a drop everything and watch movie. So maybe I'll do that. But for this time around, what I'm going to do is, seeing as I did my first CBCS slab unboxing, I wanted to give away this uh, 6.5 what if number nine this is not crazy there's not a ton of value in this but it is a cool book um display book i ended up trading this to somebody on instagram um and while it's not great for my collection i just figured it would be a cool giveaway so once again we have a what if number nine this is a 6.5 um cbcs it is the newsstand version i mean this book has seen better days but it's a pretty cool cover with some pretty cool stuff yeah and it says what if the avengers had fought evil during the 1950s um, so if you want to get entered in this uh, giveaway, what I'm going to ask is that you list your favorite superhero down below. Let me know your favorite superhero and that will give you an entry into this. Once again, I'm trying to do these mostly only for the U.S. and uh Canada, but if you're outside of there and you want to enter, you can either A, prize tag somebody, or C, we can work on maybe doing something for shipping. Once again, I try and do these, you know, weekly, so I don't want to get uh, put too much into them um, as I am paying for these out of my own pocket. So once again, uh, let me know your favorite superhero down below, and all, as always, I've been Cole, and peace. Get ready for a Monday mail call.